play dress so they will read the stories level book of the rest secrets secret stars. Let's begin. Once the bonnet once the bonnet time Oops. Once upon a time, once upon a time in the southwest, there's a dead little coyote. He wasn't very big, he wasn't very small, but he was very, very mean. The mean medium coyote loved all kinds of yummy food, but he was too, he was much too lazy to cook. He often stole food from his neighbors, neighbors, but he enjoyed most about tricking people into giving him the, the delicious meals they had worked hard to prepare. One day, the mean medium coyote was walking down the street when the delicious smell filled the air. As much as Leah said, sniff happily, it was a pity. Beans and red onions to sniff, green pepper and black olives. Only one person in the southwest made such a tasty chili. The person was Little Red. Her spiced chili was her best dish. The coyote stopped Little Red as they passed on the trail. Where are you going to the desert with a pot of chili? As the coyote. Cody. Then he thought to himself, how can I guess that? I'm going to my granny house, little bread told the coyote. She's sick, sick in bed with a fever. My spice chili will help her sweet it up. Sweat it up, the mean medium coyote melt water from the smell. He wanted that spice to eat chili. He needed that spice to eat chili. So he came up with a really main plan. I'll take granny, granny place to make sure before little red. He told her about a shortcut through desert, but the struggles was actually a long cut. The mean medium coyote raced to the granny house. He grabbed poor sick granny, shoved her into the tour shop, locked the door, and threw away the key. Then he put it on, but in that grass, and jumped into her bed. The chair will be mine, all mine. He cried joyfully. I hope there's a sour cream in the house. Coyote plans to trick little red my words, but he forgot that the tool shop was swept towards granny. Used the toes to break out of the shed when little red finally arrived at Granny House. Granny told her what happened. Little red was real furious when she heard what the coyote had done to her granny. She said if the mean medium coyote wants something spicy, spicy is going to get it. The little red pulled a hopper bottle of secret hot spice into the chili pot. Now little red secret spice was the spice hot sauce everyone has ever made. He her spice was so hot that folks needed sunglasses just to read the label. Her sauce was too hot a hole hard that it could burn a hole in a hole. She could never put more than a dash of her hot sauce in the chili people but no one had ever been as mean to a granny as the coyote had been that day either. Little Red went into the house and took the super spicy chili to the coyote in her granny bed. Leave it dearly and close the door on their way out, said the coyote in a high pitched voice, trying to sound like granny. Like Little Red said, you sound awful granny, which was true. It must be my sore throat, said the coyote. I thought you had fever, said little, said little Red. That's to add the coyote. And what happened to your feet? They so big. Is that is the heat is made them swell up like balloons. And what big nose you have, the better to smell your chili with. And what big mouth you have, the better to eat your chili with. Well, I hope you have a big appetite, said little Red as she scooped it up a mouth, mouthful of us. Super spicy chiller, the mean medium condor staff. He slid, then he thought of something. Shouldn't you heat it up first? He asked, Oh, I think you will find it quite hot, said Little Red with her sweetest smile. 
like I will grab the spoon and put plot the chili. He was too greedy and selfish to ask little red if she won once and even though he was a coyote, he ate, ate like a pig and wolfed it down his food. Yum, yum, yum. Wee! The hot sauce kicked in. The coyote ice boat jumped out of his head and the coyote jumped out the bed. Elpin much tall cry. Coyote. Wawa! Uh, I knew Wawa! Huh? said Little Red. Granny came rushing to the room and dressed like he, he said, You burned my tongue. Water. I need water. Yes, I cut Cuddy. Wawa! Peace! Bing Bing host. Being good host, Granny and Little Red took the mean meal and moved outside and gave him water. In fact, they gave him a lot of water. That dumps a bu they dumped a bucket of water on him. The coyote jumped away from his head to his toes. I hope you will think twice before trying to trick people to steal their food again, said Little Red. You, you, you owe me a new nightgown, too, added Granny. The coyote, his mouth still on fire from eating all the super spice chili, tried to run off his lip and slide. Tried to run out his mud and land in a puddle with a big splash. The thing he could eat now was mud pies, but at least they were cold. As for Granny, they didn't get to to get. As for Granny, she didn't get to eat any of their famous chili that day, but she felt much better off than seeing what happened to them. Medium, mean, medium, with la, la, latter, really in the best medicals. Okay, this is end.